guys and welcome to our channel. It's Elizabeth. I hope you all are doing well and it's the last Friday of this New Year's guys. Hope you have a great plans for the weekend. Tomorrow is a new year, a new start. Please be safe and always get a Uber or Lyft to get around if you're going to enjoy the new year. This case is of a 91 year old Leola Jordan. She has raised seven children. She was a sweet woman by what family and friends and acquaintances have said, and she was well liked, very kind. She lived in Pisiyun, Mississippi, in Pearl River County. She lived a life of peacefulness in her neighborhood. Her neighbors liked her, and she was very well respected. She never made waves to anyone. Now, she always made sure to lock her doors and her windows. That is what her family has always said. That's just the way she was. But what happened to her on June 30th, 1998, will forever be in the hearts and minds of the ones that loved and knew her. She was viciously attacked with a knife and it was done in her own home on Washington Street. She was found in her bed covered in her blood with multiple stab wounds. Her daughter is the one that found her. Her mother was lifeless and she was holding her mother's body when the police got there. To the police it looked like that Leona was woken up by the intruder or that she might have known the intruder. Her doors and windows had been not tampered with. The investigators think that there was some kind of quarrel or maybe a disagreement of some kind that the killer had beat her and then murdered her with the knife. She had multiple stab wounds. This person that did this, she had trusted to come into her home. This was a brutal crime. The investigator had gathered over a dozen samples of Leona's nightgown that she wore the night that she was killed from the crime scene. When the first investigated it in 1998, there was hopeful that they would find the killer, but they didn't. And then it went cold. The case came to a halt and unsolved for nearly 23 years. This person that had brutally killed this beautiful woman remained free and this case remained cold and unsolved for nearly 23 years. Every time a new investigator came in, the case would get new eyes on it. They were hoping that they could see what others could not or maybe something they overlooked. They also had given the case to state and federal agencies to take a look in hopes that they would find something or anything. Crime Stoffers had offered $2,500 reward for any information leading to her crime, but nothing. Till October of 2020 last year, when Captain Rhonda Jones of the police department started looking into Lois' case, she collaborated with the Oxygen Network on the hit show called Cold Justice. There was a shortage of resources out there, so they listed the help of the show to have DNA evidence discovered at the crime scene to be tested and examined. The show was able to send the DNA to a private facility, knowing that they could test and examine the DNA quicker. They would have it done fast and have a chance to get the murder of Leola and bring them to justice. The testing was not done and finalized till 2021, and they found out who this person was. The investigators were able to get the person that murdered and beat this beautiful person, Leola, to death. All thanks to the show, Cold Case, and all the detectives that would not rest till it was done. The investigators had arrested Leola Jordan's grandson, 47-year-old Sergio Williams. According to the DNA test results that came back from Leona's nightgown she wore that night, it had his DNA all over it. 
Now her family will finally get closure for the loss of this woman that they refer to as the matriarch of the family. Leona was to go see her granddaughter's nursing school pinning ceremony the day before Leona was murdered. This case was very important to solve for the officers, all of them who were called out to Leona's murder scene, and the very nature of how she died was important to police. They made it their mission to find the person that did this and bring this cold case closed and resolved. They express gratitude for being able to give the family and friends of Leola closure after all these years of them not knowing that even one of their own family had did this and had done this to her. So my friends, this is all I have for this case of Leola Jordan. Thank you guys for coming today and until our next video, you guys take care and make good choices. Bye. See you next year.